Hey everyone, I'm Melanie from Streamlined Legal, where we help law firms get the most out of their practice management software. Tonight we're talking about flat fees. And, you know, there's a great movement in this country towards legal fees, uh, trending towards flat fees, which I think is really great. I think it's really predictable for the client and it can really do some great things for our industry. But I want to make sure that we're indicating that properly in Clio and that you're able to track those things really easily in Clio. So let's hop on over to the screen and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if we come over here to Clio, I want to let you know that it all starts really with opening the file accurately. And what I mean by accurately is when I start my new matter, so I'm going to come over here to my list of matters and I'm going to go ahead and create a new matter. I want to make sure that at the bottom of the screen where I'm talking about my billing preferences, I do indicate that this is a flat fee matter, right? And I want to make sure that I've been doing that. A lot of people are nervous about doing that because they think that they can't track their time then. Um, that's not true. Clio will still allow you to track your time even if it's a flat fee matter. And in fact, I have a, another video where we talk about why it's so advantageous to track your time in Clio on your flat fee matters. So check that out. But in tonight, we're talking about the idea that we do want to make sure that if it's a flat fee matter, we are clicking on flat rate there. And I can go ahead and put in my flat rate, um, whatever my flat rate is. Um, and I can also go ahead, if I have an activity category, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes, already built out for a flat rate. So like, for example, in this one, I have a divorce without kids for $1,000. Um, I can go ahead and put that in and then save my matter and it will come up as a flat rate. Okay, so do start by putting your matters in as flat rates. Now, of course, we can fill out this screen here if we're starting it from scratch. But don't forget also, if you're bringing a matter over from Clio Grow, which we have right here on the screen, if I come over to my matter options and they've decided to hire us and it's time to export the matter, then I can go ahead and put my flat rate right down here as well. And so in that scenario, I put in my $4,500 flat rate. I go ahead and pick my practice area. Um, this is an uh, individual trust, so I'm going to say estate planning. And I'm going to go ahead, everything looks good for Mr. Geller here, I'm gonna, or Mrs. Geller here. I'm going to go ahead and put export matter. And when it comes over into Clio Manage, what we'll see is that it came over as a new matter with a flat rate of $4,500, which is exactly what we wanted. But when we look at our activities here, you'll see it says flat rate, $4,500. It doesn't say anything about what I did, right? And so I would like to add a description, some type of description to this flat rate so it looks more legit on a bill, let's say. Um, so I can come in here and I can go ahead and either edit the time entry here and find an activity category that matches that. So on this one, it's an individual trust for 4,500. I put that in there. It's now going to save, when I save that entry, it's now gonna have this description here, which I really like. Um, in the alternative, I also could have gone to edit the matter in the upper right corner and come back down here to our billing preferences and filled out the category here where it says individual trusts. Either way works, okay? But keep in mind that what I can't do is I can't come in and just say add a new time entry and create a flat fee time entry, okay? Clio doesn't allow for that. So if I want my um, entry, my activity to be a flat fee or a flat rate just like this, I do have to go first and create an activity category. That's the only way that I can put in a flat rate after the file's already been opened or after I've already put in my initial flat rate. Now, when is this going to happen? Let's think about some realistic um, examples here. Number one, if we're talking about estate planning, very often we charge our initial flat rate of 4,500, let's say, but then let's say I want to go and put in, a, you know, um, sorry, create a trust, uh, sorry, create a deed, right? So I need to fund my trust. I'm going to go ahead and prepare a deed. And of course, I'm going to um, have a flat fee, extra flat fee for funding that trust or creating that deed. So what I would have to do then is I would have to have an activity category that says deed. Um, and in fact, I think I might have one of those. Let's go ahead and check it out here. If I do a new time entry and my category here says, oh, 
I don't have one. Let's pretend like this, uh, let's see, let's pretend like this estate plan is a deed. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. It's a $200 flat rate. I save that time entry. And now I've got an additional flat rate on my entry. So I've got my initial individual trust. And then this of course is gonna be my deed that I'll relabel it as deed. And so now I've got a $200 flat fee and a $4,500 flat fee. And so I can keep stacking on the flat fees as long as I need to. But again, I'll need to go in first and create an activity category that accurately describes that flat fee or else I won't be able to um, go ahead and use that. Now, let's say we wanna do a flat fee, but we don't know how much it's gonna be, right? And so um, a lot of times we'll have the example of, um, I'm thinking of family law. Let's say we're doing our family law in stages. This is another great example where we can go ahead and um, put in the initial flat fee um, for filing the, the dissolution or whatever it is we're doing in family law. We can have a flat fee category for that, put that in at the initial get-go, and then go ahead and add an additional flat fee when we get to the second stage of the case or however we're charging our flat fee rates. Um, so that's another really great example. One last hack before we wrap up here. Let's say we don't know how much the flat fee is gonna be. It changes, it's different every time. That's okay, because I can also create a time, uh, sorry, an activity category right here in our time entry that doesn't have an amount. So for example, I created this uh, trust right here. Well, I have a bunch of different trusts, they all cost a different amount. If I have a menu of services, I would stick it in here as activity categories. But if I truly don't know the cost, I can leave off the amount and just have a trust and I can fill in the amount when I get there, right? So if my trust is, you know, this one's gonna be $3,500, I can type that in with the activity category of trust and I can go ahead and save that. And now this trust is gonna be $3,500. Let's take a look at that. How do we set up these activity categories to make our lives easier? We come over here to activities and in the upper right, it has manage categories and it will take us to our time entry categories. And when I create a new time entry, you'll see I can make it either hourly or flat rate. So I'm gonna make a new one. I'm gonna have a time entry category. I'm gonna call it um, filing fee. The filing fee, there's like 10 different fees that the um, clerk's office charges. So I'm gonna make it a flat rate. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave it blank and fill it in. Now, of course, that was a poor example because that would probably be an expense category, right? But if I do have a fee, a flat fee, I can go ahead and stick that in here and leave the rate blank, just like I did for our trust down here. I can leave the rate blank, and that way when I use it, I can go ahead and fill it in. So again, the best way to go ahead and create a flat fee time entry in Clio is by going ahead and creating those activity categories. So if you don't have any activity, category, activity categories right now, go ahead, click on your uh, activities, click on the upper right corner where it says manage categories and go create some. Maybe make a bunch of flat fees that you guys use very often. Again, don't confuse them with the um, expense categories. Those would be different. Those would be for expenses. So make sure to keep the two separate, but go ahead and create them and see how easily you can then go ahead and add flat fees to your matter. Thanks for joining me tonight. Have a great evening.